Hello everyone. Welcome back to Tech TV. First of all, many thanks to everyone for your response on my previous video on Oracle Database Flashback. Today, we are starting a Tech Talk series about Oracle Exadata. It is very tough to contain all the contents of Oracle Exadata in a video. So, initiating this as a Tech Talk series. So, I hope you like it and continue your support. Let's get started. Let's break some myths. Is Oracle Exadata is just an another appliance like Teradata and Netisa? Is ODA is a mini version of Oracle Exadata? No, not at all. Because the appliance is meant to do some specific jobs. It's just a piece of hardware and software integrated in a box. But Exadata, in no comparison with any of the appliance due to its intelligence built in its storage servers and its configuration makes it ideal for any database machine. ODA is pre-configured with database server and database software which makes it plug and ready to use. Exadata comes with the storage layer and the database layer along with its secret sauce of Exadata smart scan, cell offloading, etc. ODA is ideal for small and medium businesses, whereas Exadata is ideal for any database workload, especially the enterprise looking for the best performance with the high availability out of the Oracle databases. So what is Exadata? Exadata is a computing platform that is specialized and optimized for running the Oracle databases. Exadata comes in four versions, full rack, half rack, quarter rack and eighth rack. There are three important components of Exadata. The configuration of these components vary based on its rack setup. The first component is compute node which is also called as a database servers. All the databases will be configured and running on this database servers. Second component is a storage node which is also called as a cell servers. All the database contents including data files, archive logs, etc. get stored in the storage servers through ASM. But the storage servers are intelligent enough to understand the database requests and offload the database operations at the storage layer. Usually there are two types of storage layer configurations called extreme flash and high capacity. Extreme flash contains only the flash drives which provides better performance with less capacity. Whereas the high capacity includes physical hard disk with a few flash drives which provides more storage space for the database. Usually quarter and eighth rack comes with the two database nodes and three storage nodes. Half rack comes with four database nodes and seven storage nodes. Full rack comes with eight database nodes and 14 storage nodes. The third component is InfiniBand. InfiniBand provides network connectivity between storage nodes and database nodes. Each InfiniBand link provides 40 gigabytes of bandwidth which is many times higher than the traditional storage or server network. There is another component which is Integrated Lights Out Manager which is an ILAM. ILAM provides advanced server processor hardware and software that you can use to manage and monitor your Sun servers. In case if the server having issues like hang or reboot, you can get console for, for the host and reboot the servers remotely using the ILAM. Here is the configuration of Exadata X82. The configuration will vary based on the Exadata version as well as the type of rack setup whether it's a quarter rack, half rack or full rack. So always refer the latest data sheet applicable for your Exadata version. So here are the Exadata features. Smart scan and cell offloading, hybrid columnar compression HCC, the storage indexes, the smart flash cache, the resource manager IORM and DBRM and much more with respect to Exadata. We will discuss about each and every feature in our upcoming talk series session. Stay tuned. So until then, like this video, share this video on the social media with your friends, subscribe to TechTBA and visit my blog site techtba.wordpress.com. See you all again on the next Exadata talk series. Thank you.